With respect to the county executive's budget, uh, which we would otherwise receive tomorrow, um, we, I would say that my own expectation is this is a steady-as-you-go kind of budget. Um, I think all of us are concerned about President Trump's budget that is due to be unveiled later this week. Um, if it is truly a draconian budget with respect to everything other than uh, the military and homeland security and slashes the federal workforce uh, by the amounts that are contemplated, Montgomery County has more federal workers than almost any jurisdiction in the region. And so if you are slashing the federal payroll, you are obviously having a significant impact on Montgomery County and Montgomery County's economy. Um, so how we take that into account going forward is going to be uh, something that we'll just have to get our arms around when we see the budget and understand how quickly that would translate into lost revenue for our county. And obviously on a, a more personal level, just the, how difficult this will be for so many families who serve our federal government in so many important ways. When you see the cuts that are contemplated for things like Environmental Protection Agency and other departments and other services that are really so terribly important to people's lives, it, uh, well, it's not a pretty picture. So um, my expectation, I can't say my expectation, my hope is that the county executive will be fully funding MCPS's request. Um, historically, I have been among those that was reluctant to go above maintenance of effort, um, but I do think the case has been made that our school system continues to need help and exceeding maintenance of effort is warranted. Um, and so we need to do what we must do in order for that to happen. I don't know if the county executive will fund other things like the microloan program that I am hoping we will pass this year and fund this year. Uh, I'll find out tomorrow. Getting back to the Trump budget cut, um, if the county is faced with hundreds, thousands of families losing their, uh, their jobs, what kinds of things would the county want to put in place that would think it's important? Well, I confess. I don't have an answer for that. Um, I think we're at the beginning part of that conversation, obviously awaiting the president's budget. Um, I don't know if there's anything we can do other than be more realistic, perhaps, with our own budgeting. Um, so I guess that's the short of it. I don't have a welfare program for displaced federal workers in mind for by the county. So it really is more what, you know, other than feeling heartsick for all of these families, it is trying to understand what its implication is for county government. Well, in that light then, does it make, does it make sense to expand pre-K or launch the microloan program or any of these other new areas of the county when you've got this 800-pound gorilla coming down the pipe? It will be a conversation that we have as to how restrained should we be given what we don't know at this moment in time. I would say to you that there are some programs that, in my judgment, would produce such a positive return for our county and for its residents that its certain investments are worth it. So if you have a return on investment of 8 to 1 or 10 to 1 or 15 to 1, you make those kinds of investments, in my judgment. Thank you.